Here we are, Monday, week two, September 1998, the first show after the last pay-per-view, Ground Zero. Last episode was Ground Zero, as I just said. Uh, on that show, all right, we saw Chris Candida win the European title off Xbox. Pretty much fastest rising star in the company. Takes on Xbox. Two young guys. Xbox only 26. I think Candida's 26. Two young guys, the future of the company. Go at it in European title match. We saw Dero Brown, the Godfather, take on Mark Henry and Bob Hawley. They win. The good guys win here, ending the feud of the nation splitting up. Triple H defeated William Regal for Intercontinental title, retaining his title as Val Venus's interference. I uh, shit the bed. We saw the corporation defeat Legion of Doom, which I believe was the conclusion of that feud. Don't hold me to that. I have messed up before. We saw Mankind defeat Brian Pillman. And what could be the end of that feud, but we don't know. This uh, episode will let you know. Pretty much, Brian Pillman, hot ass heel. Uh, you know, on fire this year. I really wish he wasn't having drug problems, because if he wasn't, he'd probably be, be the number two guy behind Stone Cold. But since he is, I'd say it's The Rock or Owen Hart or even Undertaker. We saw Road Dog and Batista become the tag team champs for the first time, defeating the Marvelous Ones, who had a very good run, five-month run as heel champs. And they're still probably going to be the centerpiece of the tag division. I don't know that. I think Rabbit. It's either Rabbit Dog or Marvelous Ones are going to be the centerpiece of the tag division, meaning everything goes around them. Kind of like how New Age Outlaws were until Hardy's, Edge and Christian, Dudley's came around. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this ends up. Rabbit Dog through a title, you know, run isn't that great. Marvelous Ones, you know, took the ball and ran with it pretty hard. Undertaker became the new number one contender to the championship after defeating the Rock and Own Heart. And then he interfered in Stone Cold vs. Kane, hitting Stone Cold with a chair. Uh... And Kane became world champ. Pretty much, we stole the finish from real life. Except Mankind didn't have that rundown. Maybe Kane, Stone Cold, have a double down. Uh, Undertaker comes down. Swings. Kane might have dug it. Hits, it hits Stone Cold. Stone Cold starts bleeding. End the match. So tonight is the first episode of Kane's era as champion. He also had t- uh, Stone Cold also had a title from... The pay-per-view, Stone Cold is not on the show tonight, and neither is Mankind. So let's kick it off with good old Vince McMahon. Alright, wow, holy shit. Vince McMahon comes down, and he celebrates with uh, Kane. You know, he calls out Kane. He says, Kane, you're the new champ. Hell of a champ. And he straps the title around and holds his arms up. You know, holds Kane's arm up. You know, just to show that Vince has a new champion in Kane. Kane, not really part of the corporation, but they're allies in the sense. Hell of a rating. Kane's very hot. Vince is getting there. Top angles back in consecutive weeks here of Vince. We're on a hot streak with him. From there we go in the first match of the night. Bob Snow versus Al Hall. <laughs> Bob Hawley versus Al Snow. Ends when Al Snow wins with the uh, snowplow. But after the match, we saw Brian Pillman come down, and he attacks Al Snow to the point of injury. Al Snow is injured. This is done to add heat to Brian Pillman from last night losing and then it gives a reason for Mankind to want another match. We then go straight into the Marvelous Ones are in the ring and they are protesting and saying they will not get out of the ring until they get a rematch and Road Warriors come out and say you know what you guys can have a match with us right now and they end up having a match. Marvelous Ones were disqualified Pretty much they start using weapons to beat down the Red Warriors. You know, uh, they're pissed off because they lost their titles. So for them, the, you know, it really, uh, you know, it just they're showing aggression. They're showing a side of them that they haven't shown in a while. From there we go to Marvelous Ones continue to beat down Red Warriors. You know, just really brutal beat down. Really showing no mercy and just... Really getting their heat back. We then go straight into Chris Candido and Kern Hennig have a celebration ceremony for Candido and his new title reign. 
pretty much, you know, him and Kurt, the alliance between these two has really been beneficial. And then we go straight into Bradshaw versus Mark Henry. Brad, Mark Henry defeats Bradshaw after he cheated, moving on, you know, to bigger and better things from Mark Henry. Owen Hart and The Rock trade words in the ring. Pretty much, this feud's going to be who are the fans going to pick, if even one of them. You know, these two are had a wiss end with each other, and this is going to lead the fans to pick one who they like and who they don't like. I think it's an interesting feud. A heel versus heel feud can work every now and again. I think these two, there's a shade of gray. Definitely with The Rock at the time. Um, not, in, not in the game so much, but there's definitely a shade of gray with these two feuding, so... Either the fans would really get behind the feud and, you know, turn one face, not get behind get behind the feud, turn and hate them both still. Who knows? So that's why I have these guys ready to be turned. Both of them. And in the main event, we see Triple H and Xbox versus Val Venus and William Regal. Triple H defeated Val Venus after hitting him with the pedigree. Uh, pretty much, no big deal. Uh, this match is just continuing their feud. Uh, not really other much to say about that. And then the conclusion of the show, the main event, is the Undertaker explaining his actions <coughs> against Stone Cold and Kane. Pretty much saying that, you know, Stone Cold, I did it because I had to. Uh, I don't really, it's just he'd explain why he interfered last night. And then he'd talk permanently about his upcoming match with Kane. And, you know... You guys really, I don't know if you guys can see it well, but I can turn him right now if I wanted to. Uh, uh, is this the way Undertaker turns heel? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so Undertaker is officially a heel. Just made a decision. Uh, it's not going to really change much. He's been booked to be a heel for a while. Another really good show. Matches weren't that interesting, but I think the angles is what carried this show. Obviously, the... <laughs> Bookend 99 angles in the Rock Own Heart. Uh, WCW could beat us this week, but I doubt it. I really like how the Kane's title picture is starting off hot with the 99 ratings. So we're on a 12 week win streak. I believe this 43 to 23. So I'll see his title screen to see who wins this week. Alright, so. Ooh. Huh. Hmm. Wow, uh, I think it's tied. Huh. What to do? We never figured out what to do with the tie yet. Uh, huh. I guess this is a draw this week. No one wins, no one loses. I guess this also ends the streak of us beating them. Huh. I guess so. So, WCW broke my streak of beating them for three months. Let's see if we can start a new one next week. Uh, this is the prelude to Attitude Era. And we're officially in Attitude Era. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.